All right. Okay, this is Tuesday, December the 15th, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And it's Touch Base Tuesday, and there's so much to talk about. So let's start out with um, Jessica, you're on here with me. Let's let's talk about something. Doesn't have to be Pamper Chef related, but just something you're excited about right now. The snow. I know you're not, but I'm so excited <laughs> for the snow. Well, I'm trying to embrace it, and I know it'll be beautiful. I think it's because it's my first time at this house, and yeah. Like my car isn't in my garage yet and just little details, but, and I had to arrange for snow plow work and yeah. So, I mean, it's just the unknown, I think. It'll be beautiful, yeah. I'm sure. And honestly, even though we could get anywhere from two inches to 24 inches or whatever they're saying, I don't even know. Yeah. Um, you know, by Friday, we'll all be out and about again. <laughs> It's not going to be. And I think the other thing that bothers me is I'm just now starting to be able to walk a bit again, you know, like be out walking, not far, yeah, not yet, but, and now that's going to mess that up. Well, you can go tomorrow. Well, I'm going to go, I'm going to try and walk a bit tomorrow morning just to get it in yeah. before it snows. And then I'll take a day or two off. But I just, today, I, I only did three quarters of a mile. So it, it was that's something though. Yeah, it was you know, considering last, <clears throat> last Monday, I did like six, you know, but I'm, I'm, I'm behaving and I'm listening to my body and, but it is exciting. Snow is exciting, especially when we think that <clears throat> we're 10 days out from Christmas. So we could yeah. really have a white Christmas. We could. There is something special about that. So yeah, great. All right. So I want to, um, first of all, <coughs> excuse me, um, on Monday, yesterday, the announcement came out about the incentive trips for next year. Did you see it? Did you check it out? Texas is level one and Puerto Rico is level two. Yes. And you know, they were telling us a bit about Texas on the director call. And I've never been to Texas. There was a trip to... <coughs> I think it was Austin one year. I earned a different trip, but there was a trip to Austin. And, you know, that intrigues me. And I, of course, you know, I would try and extend and go to Waco so I can go to all the Magnolia. Yes. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. But um, yeah, I think Texas would be fun. And Puerto Rico looks beautiful. They say um, the last time we were supposed to go there, there was a hurricane and it got closed down, you know, and they said they the whole island's been revamped and all that. So it could be awesome. So um, let's let's do some honest talk here. Um, when you think about the trips, what's your initial reaction? <laughs> that <laughs> like, like I think <laughs> it was just it was just like meh, yeah. Like, I'm still going to go for it, obviously, but mm -hmm. I think it was just kind of meh. But I agree with Magnolia. Like, if I'm in Texas, yeah. you got to go. Yeah, and I've never, I've driven through parts of Texas, but I've never been to Texas. Like, I never. Yeah. <clears throat> and, um, yeah. Well, I'm going to say that no matter where the trip is, a pampered chef trip is, like, five star plus, you know, yeah. it's just, it's just amazing. They do so much to make it special <clears throat> and it's not a shabby hotel. I guess that the resort in, in, um, or the hotel or whatever in Texas is awesome. And as well as the resort, all-inclusive resort in Puerto Rico. And I tell you what, I did an all-inclusive one time with Pampered Chef and that was amazing. I always said that a cruise after I did the cruise, I always said, Oh, the cruise is the best vacation of ever. But after I did an all inclusive, I kind of was like, Hmm, I think I might like that better. I don't know. But it's the kind of thing that I would never afford on my own. So it's very exciting. And it, they do it up 
really well and they make you feel like a superstar and 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 very special so i think the biggest thing that i want to do in the next weeks with all of you is to help you realize the possibility of the trip and the possibility of what you can do to make it happen because it's it's very doable and we'll just break it down to weeks and and you know then months of course but you know we'll start with weeks so what do we do and the biggest thing i can say right now is to get your january booked strong you know go for <clears throat> the maximum you can do and you know and we think about none of us are going out of the house to do our pampered chef work you know we're we're all doing it from home so we have to find ways to do it from home that are smarter not harder um and and there's a lot of things that we can do and it's it's really kind of ex it's kind of fun and exciting jessica you really embraced the going live especially when we did like our big fundraiser parties and stuff and and that really um uh, pushed you a yeah. bit didn't it in, initially yeah yep. but it it turned out so good for you you did a great job and you were fun to watch yeah. and didn't the electric go out one time for you or something yeah and i still yeah. rolled with it and you went with it i mean I it's it. yeah. it's yeah it can be done and and it's it's actually i know a lot of people are oh they dread going live but i've seen different members of our team go live and um just have some fun with it and the one thing i'm going to say and that i'm learning more and more is if you're going to go live in a facebook party keep it to no more than 5 minutes mm -hmm. um i've heard different people say that different um people that have excessive success and they're saying you know keep it short have everything prepped do whatever you have to and then show a picture later um but just really engage you know like you on yours i i i really felt you were engaging with the people on the party and you had a cameraman too which really helps yeah. so yeah i've i've seen some people do some pretty amazing thing when they have you know someone behind the camera i just use my tripod and sometimes i use it like a selfie stick I'm not real coordinated with that but I try. Um but yeah, just make it fun. Don't don't try and be perfect. I did there is a there is a training coming from a group of directors that I'm hoping to pull up for you and it's things not to do on a live and it's kind of funny and it makes you laugh. Like the one is the angle of your camera, like like your angle shouldn't be from like here or whatever like like oh it was really funny. I'll have to share it with you guys because um there's just things not to do um you know one of the things is you know the angle of your camera it can it can make your face look different it can also expose things you don't want to expose you know and um so you need to you know think of those kinds of things ahead of time and also what's really funny is when i set up my tripod you know which is just this little cheapy thing from amazon it's nothing fancy um i stand back and look at the frame of my tripod and anything i don't want in the picture goes off to the side so you have no idea what the rest of my kitchen looks like but yeah it's everything gets moved and you know i'm i'm guaranteed that anybody you see does that kind of thing but the funny things are when you see like someone walk behind the person go to the refrigerator and get something out of the fridge and my son's done that to me a couple of times too which you know I just roll with it, you know, whatever, but it is yeah. kind of funny. Sometimes you see people and you think, "Oh, I didn't that I can't unsee that," you know, like <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, so um start thinking, start planning, start contacting people. Now's the time to get those January parties booked and um, you know, January's double free for hosts. And I just saw an a, a post tonight that I'm going to share with our team about how January is a great time to get our three major power tools, our quick cooker, our blender and our air fryer because when you do um if I can find it quick, when you do an $800 show and you've got double free and I saved the picture. 
So like the blender would end up being $13.30. Wow. Um, the quick cooker would be $17.10 with a $650 party. Wow. If, if they use their free and then they got their discount. And then the air fryer with a $700 party, it would be totally free, totally free with a $700 party. So for those people that you know that, that you know they're, they've been eyeing those big ticket items, contact them, get January on the calendar. And um, they don't have, you know, what's your biggest objection when you contact someone to have a party? That they're gonna say no. No, but what's their biggest objection? Like, what do they, what do they say to you? What's the reason for saying no? Oh, the timing is all right. Okay, okay. Um, you know, the, the timing isn't right, <clears throat> or I just don't have time right now, all but those things. A, are, what? But it's not a no forever. It's like a no, not right now. Not right so now. So bad. Right. And even if, even if they say, <clears throat> like when I asked somebody to host a party the other night, I had a girl who said, I want to do a party and I want to do it in January. I said, okay, my first available date, <clears throat> excuse me, my first available date is January the 5th. I give them a date. I give them a date. Now, if she would have said to me, cause she said yes, and it was like easy peasy. But if she would have said to me, cause I told her about the extra, if they book a party between January and submit it between January 1st and January 10th, they get the the meat shredders for free in addition to all their other stuff. But if she would have said, no, I can't, I don't really have time. I can't do it. You know, and then I would have said to her, how, how much time do you feel a party would take? Because we need to understand if they understand how little time right. it can take. Because yeah. honestly, uh, once they invite everybody, um, they need to just engage once a day, you know, at the end, you know, go through and comment or whatever. Um, and it depends on the length of your parties. You know, I've keep shortening my parties. So I'm doing five days and that's about long enough for, a, for me because <clears throat> I get bored. Um, but, you know, you can, you can talk about, you know, Honestly, I'm going to only ask you, once you invite everybody, I'm only going to ask you to get on five, 10 minutes a day at the end of the day. Would you, would that be workable for you? Would that be something? And so let's talk about another date. My next available date is, and you could say, you know, when you want to start or whatever. I've been doing a lot of um, Facebook Live and Zoom parties. So it's really, honestly, um, I post two days before and two days after, and it's one night that they have to, for some people are doing 15 minute Zoom parties. Mine are more like 30 to 40 minutes, but um, yeah, I mean, it's not that much time and they never have to leave their house. So those are the kinds of things that we, we can address when we talk about that. So the trip is doable. And for anybody on our team that really wants to talk to me about how doable it is and how we can work on that. I am actually gonna send out a survey, a Google Doc survey to all of you. And also I'd be more than willing to personally sit down with you, you know, FaceTime or Zoom or whatever um, to talk about how that's possible, how you can make that possible. Because um, yeah, it's a trip for two. Keep that in mind if, if for those of you who have kids, um, you can buy them in later. Um, Disney is always a trip for four, but our other trips are a trip for two. But anyway, so, so that was exciting news yesterday. And they also released the January um, sales promotion. I have a graphic for that that I'll post too. Um, but I really want to talk about December because I have some exciting things to share with you about December yet. A lot of people think that once December 12th, the cutoff date comes along, they're done. Like business is close. Um, I don't know of a single website that has posted that their last shipping is a certain day that closes. 
There's not a, there's no website anywhere that closes after that shipping date. People can pay for expedited shipping. If they do an individual order um, or they can take the chance that it'll come. You know, we're all direct ship now. So you can add an order to a party. They can take a chance because our shipping is better. But keep in mind, it's not just us <laughs> because um, shipping is just generally crazy. And I saw a picture of a, a U.S. Postal Service building um, somewhere. I don't know the inside of it. And it was just crazy full of stuff. Um, so keep in mind that it's not just Pampered Chef that's dealing with this. It's, it's the carriers that we use as well. I had someone in Lewistown send me something on the 5th and it got to me on the 14th. So yeah, it's just, so keep that in mind, but we're not closing down and I am inviting you to join in a mega party um, that I'm really excited about. There's five of us directors that are working on this party. So we're going to do all the party posts and we're, and we're supplying you the words to say and everything um, to invite people to this party. And the premise of this party is that we're providing tips and recipes and you know tool ideas for people for their other holiday gatherings after Christmas. So it's gonna be December 28th, <clears throat> 29th and 30th, three days. You really, the only thing you need to do is invite people. Um, I'm gonna give you the words to use to invite them. And I'm gonna give you a graphic that you can use to invite them so that it's just a matter of inviting people. You will create a, um, a party on your website that they can order from. <clears throat> um, and then you just get in the party and comment just like we would tell our hosts to do. Um, there is technically no host in this party. It's just all of us together and all of our guests can come on. They can invite their friends. So these are the words that I'm going to give you. My Pampered Chef team is running the biggest online virtual party of the year to help you with the end of the year holiday parties and celebrations. You do not want to miss this. It's, you do not want to miss out on this dashing into the new year party with daily giveaways and recipes, tips, and tricks. This is an exclusive event and I can only add 25 people. Comment below or message me for your invite, or you can send, if you're sending it as a personal message, you can say, how about you want to join in? And then you add people. And the reason that we say you can only invite 25, there is no limit, but it, it creates a sense of urgency to the people and they wanna be involved in something that's exclusive. Um, granted, if there's you know 10 of us on the party and we each have 25 people, that's 250 people. And can you imagine the interaction on a party like that? I mean, it would be fun. It would be really fun. And we as directors are doing a daily giveaway. So you don't have to, you don't have to give anything away. You don't have to invest anything but your time and your effort. And it could be a way, two things. The one thing I see that I think it will really be good for is booking January parties. And the other thing is to still get sales in the month of December um, because there's still time for people to order. People aren't done shopping just because Christmas comes. And we're doing it the week after Christmas so that they're not you know, necessarily in Christmas stuff, but it's just before New Year's. So if they are doing anything to celebrate for New Year's, we're gonna give them some quick recipe ideas and some tricks and, and little tips. Um, so I'm hoping that a lot of you will take advantage of this and give it a try. Um, just, yeah, just give it a shot. I mean, it, it's not gonna hurt to, invite people, it, you know, whatever you have on there. And then we're going to encourage those people to invite people as well. So, so Sunday is going to be the pre-party on the 27th. Um, Monday is going to be appetizers. Tuesday is going to be side dishes or, or snacks or whatever. And then Wednesday is going to be um, desserts. And then Thursday is actually kind of the wrap up. It's after the party's over, but it's going to actually be an opportunity event. We're not going to call it that, 
<clears throat> but it's going to be a, a short, like a live um, time and a few posts um, about the Pamper Chef opportunity. And I just think it's going to be really good for all of us to do this, to get excited, to get on and comment. Um, we're going to, each of us are going to go live once a day. Each of us directors that are on this are going to go live um, during the day um, with a few tips and things. Um, so anyway, I'm hoping that lots of you want to get involved with this. If you do want to get involved and um, just send me a message or a text or whatever, and I'll add you to the group. We actually have a party group page made, and we also have a consultant group page made because when people order, you're going to need to report to us because we're going to enter them in the drawing. So if they order or if they book a party, um, we're going to enter them in a drawing. And um, I think the final grand prize drawing is going to be like a hundred dollar box of paper chef products. So I, you know, it's definitely worth it. And it, and you no, know, just for the prizes and just for the fun. Um, so I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to put you on the spot, Jessica. I'm just, you're the only one on here. So I feel badly. I, I'm not going to say, hey, what do you think? You know, um, but I, I do think it's going to be fun. We've gotten a lot of ideas from if you, if you're on any Pamper Chef groups or whatever, um, or if you remember from National Conference, Stephen Drapowski, that's his last name, Drapowski. I think his name on Facebook is Stephen Joseph, but his last name is Drapowski. He he just took a couple of years, he's been in Pampered Chef. He sold over a million. He's got this huge team. He's a national executive director after only a few years. He's the first male national senior executive director uh, or national executive director. Um, he gave us like his whole outline for us to fill in with things, but um, you know, and I mean, it's been very successful doing this kind of thing for him. And um, he gave us a lot of tips on what to do and how to do it. So we're just gonna share that with all of you. And, um, and you know, Jessica, you organized, well, back in the spring, you and um, Lisa and I did a group yeah. fundraiser and that was fun, yep. it, it went well. And then yep. in the fall here, you organized one for Friendsgiving and that went well. And that was a yeah. lot of fun. I about it. <laughs> yeah. And we, what did we have like five different people involved in that? Yeah, it was a good amount. Yeah. And that was really fun. And it, it's, it's just a great way to, it takes the pressure off of one person doing the party themselves. Okay. And, and honestly, for all of you, it's kind of like my gift to you this Christmas, because I want to give you that opportunity to do this maybe you'll get sales and that's great. You know, that's super. But the bigger thing is you, you will probably get bookings for January because we are going to promote that every day. We're going to talk about booking for January. Every day we're going to talk about the business opportunity, but we're also going to give tips, um, you know, just food tips and recipes and things. Um, so it's kind of, yeah, like I said, it's kind of my gift to you this Christmas that you can um, do this party without having to do anything, but in, you're going to be just like our hosts. You just invite people and, and you invite everyone, even though, you know, we're saying 25 a person, you really, if you get 25 and you get 26, we're not going to kick the 26th person out. That's really not, you know, it's more or less just giving you an example. So I'm going to give you the words to use and um, I'm going to post that on our group and probably send it an email too. And um, yeah, we're calling it dashing into the new year. Um, we had a Zoom call today to talk about our plan and um, it took us probably, I don't know, 10 minutes or more to figure out the name for the party. We, we're not very good at that. Like it was pretty funny. I started Googling names for parties, you know, just to get ideas because we were not getting very far on that. So, and, you know, you get five women together and we all have a different opinion. So, but we, we work well together. We just, you know, it's just funny that way. But anyway, any questions about that or any thoughts? No. No questions? Yeah. Because you've done this before. You've done one, like similar... Yeah, so that's, and it's fun. It is fun to, um, and 
I've done block parties too, where I have like three or four hosts in the same party and that it's, it's doable, but this is, you only have to manage as yours. Um, so I will give more instructions then once you contact me, if you want to be involved, I'll, I'll let you know, um, you know, what, what we need basically is just going to be the link to your party. And we have a w special way to post that on the party page. And um, yeah, I'm excited about it. I, I felt like it kind of reignited me when I started, when I watched the info about it and then we planned today, it just feels like something exciting we can do to end the year and end the year strong and start out 2021 strong too. I don't know, am I gonna say 2021 every time or am I gonna just say 21? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's like 2020 just seemed to be like, I remember in the beginning of the year, January, I was at a conference and it was vision 21 and everybody was talking vision 21 everywhere, you know, and wow, our vision was not how it turned out, was it? Nope. So, but you know, one of the things I will say is 2021 or 2020 has been difficult for everyone everywhere. In Pampered Chef, it's been incredible. I mean, so many new consultants, so much more business. We're now in Germany or France or France. I don't know. Anyway, it's just Pampered Chef has mushroomed, but with that came some significant challenges. <laughs> and, and we're still dealing with those challenges, you know, with manufacturing and our shipping is back to normal, but manufacturing isn't. And so Apparently the other day they had a truckload of can openers yeah. come in. I didn't get one. I oh. needed I needed one for a customer and I was going in every morning and evening to check and apparently I missed it. But they said they were set they sold so fast like 3 hours and they were all yeah. gone. I can believe it. Yeah. So people were waiting. They were watching. Um, so, you know, it's going to happen. We're going to get back to having products, but uh, real-time inventory is real. And, um, you know, a couple of weeks ago, I was trying to buy something on Target's website. And every time I went on for a certain, it was always out of stock. So it's reality. It's not just Pampered Chef. It's, it's everywhere. And um, we just have to keep encouraging our customers to hang in with us. If, here's one point I wanna say, if you have a party that's open right now and your host <clears throat> is waiting for a specific item, like I have a host who's waiting for the slow cooker set and it, you can keep that party open into January, just change the dates or whatever, or keep it open till January 7th or whatever. Because of direct ship now, nobody's waiting for their orders except the host. So it is possible to just keep it open and keep waiting or rebook. Tell them, you know, rebook in, in a couple months and it'll be back. So anyway, just my thought. Did you find your large pizza stone? Yes, I did. My, yeah. my son-in-law wanted it. Um, yeah, so I had actually, I had a friend who called me about it and my son-in-law had asked me about it. So we, I got them both one. So that was, that was perfect. Um, yeah, just from our team, Selena had one and Lisa had one. So I was, perfect. I was really happy with that. My son-in-law was very pleased and he was going to take my medium one because I had an extra, but mm -hmm. we got, we got the bigger one. So yeah, it's right. In fact, it's right there. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's sitting there because we just picked it up today. So anyway, yeah, so if anybody is looking for certain products, I don't have a lot in stock. I don't keep a lot of inventory, um, but you know, maybe someone will have it and it's good to reach out and ask. You never know. Yeah, yeah I had somebody ask me for a whole slew of things last night because they forgot to order before, you know, the cutoff. I was like, yeah, I don't, mm -hmm. I don't have them. You never know what's good to keep. And the other thing is all of the vendor events, I did two this fall that were very 
very strict and, you know, like we were very safe or whatever, but all the rest of mine canceled for this, this season. And mm -hmm. so that's where I would have gotten rid of a lot of stuff, you know, if I would have had it. So, but yeah, right. you did a vendor event one day, didn't you? Yeah, I actually ended up selling a good amount of product. I don't have that much product, yeah, but like it did put a good dent in the little product that you had that I did have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's it's a you know it's debatable whether to have product on hand. I normally, <laughs> when I'd be at events like that, I'd say you know I can have it to you in a week, you know because our right. shipping. But and now our shipping is that way, you know, so yeah. we can still do that. Um, so that's, you know, that's a good thing that, you know, we're able to say that to people and they, you know, when I do an, a vendor event, I often offer free shipping just because I don't have the products on hand and it's just a service I can do, but we don't have to do that. Any more thoughts or questions or comments, anything that you saw on the website or anything that you have questions about? I know the stir came out today. I didn't mm -hmm. get a chance to read it yet. So it's always good information in there. Yeah. I think I just took a look in the email really quick and scrolled down. And I even forget what it said, but I did look at the destinations earlier. Yeah. It's, um, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, where did I, oh, stir. New way to party is coming soon. I did see that. And I'm excited to see what that is. Oh, I, I had no idea. Too. Yeah. And um, there is, oh, I know what it is. It's Didn't called. Didn't talk about that at conference? Yeah, they call it, yeah, it's called shared yeah. rewards and there's going to be we trainings. There's going to be trainings yeah. tomorrow, I think on it. Um, so I'm going to, I have, I don't understand it. And so I'm anxious to hear a little bit more about what it is. Cause I don't, I don't really get it, but people that are doing the pilot program are very excited about it. So we'll see. Good. And it's not a, it's not a way you have to do it. It's an option. So it's not like all parties will be that. I guess you choose or something. So shared rewards is coming soon. And um, yeah, teach me webinar for shared rewards is tomorrow. So check your stir. There are two sessions. Um, I think it's, but I think the one for consultants and team leaders is like at eight o'clock tomorrow night. Okay. So you can at least register for it. And then if you can't get on, you can watch it later, um, but okay. check it out. That's, that's going to be good. And, um, and anything you do this month, um, whether selling, recruiting, um, you know, qualifying consultants or whatever, anything you do this month, you get points this month and you get the same points next month. So that's exciting. That, that gets you started towards the trip. And no way! I thought it was just double points this month. It's, I'm confused. You get the points this month for whatever you do, but you also they also put those points into January. So they just roll over. It's called double dip. So you, if you need them this year, they're there for this year. But then they're also going to put them in January. So you'll start the year with those points. Okay. Perfect. So if you, whatever your sales are, whatever right. you're qualifying, you know, those kinds of things, yep. you'll get the same points. So let's say you get, you know, 5,000 points this month, you'll start out yep. January with 5,000 points, which is huge. Yeah. It's like having an extra month for the trip. So, yep. all right, I'm going to stop the recording and I will post this as soon as I can get it uploaded.